catching up with state champion Lindsay Enders out of Holy Trinity Episcopal Academy. State champion last year, big things on the horizon, we hope, in the pole vault. You know, we talked a couple of weeks ago, and you said training's going really good. First meet this Friday, the Highlander Invite over in Orlando. You ready? Definitely. I'm super excited for this meet. Just to be able to see how my all the training I've put in, how it's going to come out, and how I'm going to put everything together, and how it's just going to play out and see. Finally, I'm ex I'm super excited for this. Well, you're going to be doing several events over at uh, the Highlander Invite. What events are you going to be in? Um, of course, pole vaulting, uh, 100 meter hurdles. That's usually those are my two main events that I always do, and uh, the four by one actually. So. Those years, that's prob that's what I did last year, so same this year. And you know, that's one of the interesting things about uh, ladies in the pole vault nowadays. I talked to your coach, uh, Bill Falk, mm -hmm. uh, founder of MF Athletic, several weeks ago, and he said a lot of gymnasts, people that are really good at gymnastics, tend to be really good in the pole vault. Obviously, you've got great speed. We've seen that out on the track. You've got great hurdling technique. Uh, did you ever do gymnastics when you were younger? I did, up to level seven. I was a gymnast. Started when I was a little itty bitty like five year old and I continued until about sixth grade and then I had to stop just because of injuries and whatnot. But yes, I was a gymnast. <laughs> and we can see that that's carried over and probably one of the reasons why you're really, really successful at the pole vault. The state record, unofficially the state record, 13, one and three quarters. Lacey Jansen out of uh, Cardinal Moody back in 2001 set that at the UCF US ATF meet during the summer. What do you think? Is uh, Friday a possibility? You know what? I don't want to say it is or it isn't because the possibilities are unlimited. I, I don't even know, honestly, my full potential of all the practice I've done and everything. I have great expectations, but I don't think I can really put a number on anything until I see for myself on the first meet, and this first meet is going to be the judge of everything, but I definitely think it's possible. But for the first meet, you know, I'm not sure, so I can't tell you that. I might It might just be a whole getting back into the swing of, oh, this is how meets are again, because I have the different atmosphere in meets than it is as practice, so we'll see how everything carries over, but it's possible. Well, do you have a game plan for the pole vault specifically, a starting height that you may enter in at? Last year at this meet, I came in at 9'6". I did not have a coach with me, though, and this was my first meet, and that was a little bit scary. This year, I might have him with me, Actually, I think I am going to have him with me, We're working on getting that arranged just because traveling is a little bit of an issue. But um, I think probably 10-6 is easy. I think 10-6 would be an easy starting height for me. And as if I clear that, then I can just bump it up as I need to. If I just need to go up six inches, then we can go up six inches. If I want to go up a foot, we can go up a foot because usually I'm the only one in around that height. So. Good Should deal. Be. Well, tell me about the girls team at Holy Trinity. How are you all doing? We have a humongous team this year, and I have a lot of like of hope for it just because everything, just we have so many people now. We have so much breadth now just because we can have so many people in so many events. Everyone can be involved and whatnot, and we're going to have a lot of places to score lots of points. So I think our team is going to be very strong this year. Biggest team we've ever had. So. And the nice thing, I guess, uh, we wish you the best of luck, but it's kind of nice to see Kayla Parker move on if you're a Holy Trinity <laughs> track athlete. Well, she was always in the hurdles, which kind of got in the way, and then uh, for the 100, too, always was getting in the way of Jesse and the Dareth and whatnot. But it'll be nice now, even though I only have one year without her, is just to see I have a possibility in the hurdles, and I think I'm going to go for that, too, definitely. So. Is there a lot of talk at the team level about uh, a state championship for Holy Trinity? Definitely. Coach Butler strives for that every year and tells us that we always have we have the potential to do that. We just have to prove ourselves and we have to work hard and just apply ourselves basically and we can do it. He always says that and I definitely think we can. We were so close last year and this year we have an even bigger team and I think I don't think we lost that many people that I, th I feel like the people that we gained this year are going to be able to take the place or places of people we lost, so we're going to be able to come through and do it. So, Well, our first opportunity to see you on the track and in the pole vault will be Friday night. The Highlander Invitational will be broadcasting that live. I'm sure a lot of folks will be tuning in to see how you do. <laughs> Wish you the best of luck. Thank you.